In this video, we will make the installation of Xcode and the simulator. Okay, to doing so, we will go inside the App Store and inside we will write in the searching bar Xcode. Perfect. So this will give us access to the iPhone simulator when we download it. So we will press on get and install. This may take 10 minutes because it's pretty long and a pretty big program. So you will say open, you will agree the terms, you will need to enter the password of your computer if you have one. And then this will install the component. Perfect. Xcode will open, you can close it, you can close the App Store as well. And this was uh, to create the simulator. So we will press common space and inside the searching bar, now we have access to the simulator. You will open it and now you have access because you have download Xcode and this will open an uh, iPhone. This may take also 10 minutes because it's pretty long. I just fast forward. Then you press come and space again and you open Visual Studio Code, the place where we have our project, Flutter project. Perfect. So when it is open, you will see at the bottom right that will you like to use the recommended VS Code setting? You can say yes. And this will put uh, the Flutter setup. Perfect. Then you will press on the play button to start the project on the iPhone simulator. Also, this may take 10 minutes. It depends on the power of your Macintosh. You will see on the terminal that this is loading. And once it's finished, you will see your further project inside your screen. Here we go. Now you can press on the plus sign and you will see the counter go up. Here we go. We just installed the Xcode and we how and we now have access to the simulator. See you on the next one.